Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, and randomizer players. So, we have a Super Mario Bros. 3 randomizer tournament match. It's a four a race. On the left side here, we have Big Seaf versus Mitch Flower Power. That is a, I believe that is a group J matchup. Big Seaf is three and three. And Mitch is playing his first match of the group stage. And on the right side, we have the Hacksaw versus Ace of Arrows. Is a group K match. Ace is two and four right now, and Hacksaw is one and one. I am Sharky2107. Alongside me is Wolfman. How's it going? Oh, Sharky, I am looking. We have two big names to look for. Mitch Flower Power, you know him very well. Conqueror of many randomizers and ROM hacks. Ace of Arrows, one of the variety players, able to play this game with his feet. And Big Z and Hexer are no slouches either. Nope. It's going to be a great race. Pie close races throughout. Indeed. Both, all four of these runners will be going twice. We will have tournament flags one first. And for the record, Ace of Arrows is actually playing with hands today, so don't worry about that. But tournament flags one is basically same as the tournament that we had last year. Tournament flags two, we mix up the overworld a bit. Yep. You, flags two tends to be a bit quicker, so... We're heading off in World 5 to begin with. Don't you mean Level 5? <laughs> yeah, Level World. And it says basically 1-5. That was the joke I was going for. My apologies for the bad delivery. <laughs> You're fine. Let's see. Pretty short stage here. As long as you can get through the initial tunnels, then you are typically fine. And, well, speaking of tunnels, we have a vertical one on Mitch Flower Power's side. One yep. of the beta levels. Yep, the hardest one in the randomizer. Ah, uh, yes. Everyone's natural enemy, Currents. Yep. If you die in here, just blame the currents, I guess. No enemies, nothing to worry about. Maybe the timer. Question from chat. Yes, all of our runners are playing the very same seed. This is a randomizer race. Mitch deciding to go with the fortress route. Oh, and gets burned by a hot foot on 4F. Oof. That's probably going to leave a little bit of a mark. With the alternative being 6-7. Mm, they're both about equivalent. This one at least goes much faster without the auto-scrolling. Yep, just be careful. You might slide around a little bit. It's ice fix, it, after all. Sometimes these donuts are, can be rude. Oh, don't remind me of when I actually played in a frog percent race. It's possible to stand on those donut lift blocks and it's just on the edge so that the donut block falls down, but not you with it. Yeah, I'd still need to try a frog percent. Maybe after sometime after the tournament, and they're doing that during their weekly. Why not join? And fell at it. And we got a P-Wing. From the Hammer Bro. And the coin ship here leads to. <coughs> oh, another P Wing. Well, we do have safeties available. And honestly, I am curious if any of our runners are going to use them for the tower that's upcoming. Yep. You know, tower is one of four levels that is not randomized. We got the tower, the two piranha plant levels, and, of course, Bowser's Castle. You always gotta save the best for last. 
That's not going to be changed. And that hot foot almost got ace there. Yeah, the hot feet come in two varieties. The ones that are similar to the Boo Diddleys, where they approach you when you face away. Or the crazy feats, where they just move whichever way they want. Even well, even if you're looking at them or not, they do, they're going to do what they want to. Yeah, they basically march to uh, their own internal beat. Just like me. Ooh, do you recognize this level that uh, Mitch is on, Sharky? Oh. Can't think of it right now. Um, I believe this it's the is beta. Yep, this is one of the beta levels. I wonder if this is meant to be 6-7 beta or 6-4 beta, but definitely one of the um, middling difficulty ones. Just bobs up and down and up and down, and then you get it. If they had this in the game, I bet you anything, there'd be a boss bass in here. It screams boss bass. For some reason. Well, fortunately, Boss Bass is not in 2-4, the Hidden Oasis, as I sometimes call this stage. Yep. <laughs> and actually kind of clipped in that block there. For a brief second. Gives another star pick up. And we got an end card game. Both Haxer and Mitch are going for it. Note that they... While they are playing the same seeds, they do not have the same cards because that is frame dependent right now. Oh look, another beta level. Beta level of 1-5. So we both, we got both varieties of that. Three beta levels in the first world here? I know there's like eight or nine of them, but <laughs> we're already close to halfway. At least we didn't have find Atlantis yet. Which is one of the two auto scrolling levels in a randomizer, 5 9 being the second one. That is true. Uh, not all the auto scrollers were taken away due to, um, let's just say reasons. Yep. Ooh, Tanuki suit from another Hammer Bro encounter. That may be useful. I think the it was a cloud in a uh, in a card game. I don't remember Mitch who got that. Mitch did make a match, and I believe that's the only place we would have seen a Lakitu cloud. So yeah, Mitch has the ability to skip a stage later should he wish. Yeah. As you notice, they don't match. Ooh, we got a star. So basically, what you see on the card is not what you're going to get. It's randomized, so all the mushrooms are going to be the same thing throughout the seed. So if it's a hammer, well, you're going to get plenty of hammers. Okay. And we got a frog. Frog suit from the Toad House, star and music box were two of the other items from the end card. And just to clarify, um, 5-9, we could turn off the auto-scroller, but the problem is, the way the platforms are set up, it's timed to the auto-scroller. So if you go enter that level without auto-scrolling, it's... well, it's no guarantee. And while we were explaining that, we completely missed 7-2 on our leader sides, but don't worry, Zeef and Ace will encounter them short. Whoa, Mitch, uh, that's 7-6. Will he take an intentional death and attempt the clip? Or, yep, there's the intentional death, but Haxer can go for it immediately, but with the tail, it's a little tricky. It was doable, but the subpixel is a little bit different, I think, because of the tail. And he gets it. While Mitch chose to use a P-Wing and just... <laughs> fly over Fly it. over it entirely. While Ace is hopping to it. So 
Some players do want to get mushroom houses early on because they feel that it's needed and come in handy. Some players skips it out all together. I believe we got World 6 airship here. This is the World 7 airship, oh, seven. actually, but Roy has invaded it. I always get 6 and 7, but he's a 2 HP Koopa. Goes down quick. And apparently R Roy has worked out a bit, lost some of the bulk. Two of the Koopa kids will be able to shake the room when they hop on the ground. Roy is not one of them to... Just hope we don't see thunder, thunder thighs, and windy. Ooh, that will be rude of the randomizer. Ooh, Zeef with the excellent seven six clip. Yep, two of the clip. One doesn't care for it; just flies over. We got world four in second as the second spot. And I don't think any runner has any hammers yet, so... Well, we may find some hammers in the matching game. So, we haven't matched, uh, 20 coins yet, if I recall correctly, or the mushroom. Well, there's a mushroom. We'll find out why he gets here in a minute. A music box? Hmm. And we got 8 1. Oh, the dark descent into madness, but Mitch was able to get P speed and is going to take the secret pipe near the end. Ugh, I do not like seeing 8 1. And Ace is going to take his intentional death by that giant Koopa. Just smiling at him. Also uses a P-Wing in. Now, who needs a clip when you can fly over the level? And Big Steve takes down Roy. So basically, about a two minute difference between Mitch and Steve right now. Still anybody's game. Because World 8 tends to be the great equalizer. But we still got a ways to go before that. Alright, Hexer had to take the long way through 8-1, but gets through it beautifully. Big Zeef now into the second world, which in this case is World 4. Ace of Arrows having to play catch-up. Oh, we got a hammer from Fire Bros. That's gonna be nice to have. You could break yeah. a lock with it and skip maybe three levels somewhere. Uh, I'd be tempted to skip this one right now. This is spot. This is six six. It's. Oh, you don't want to see that. Yeah, six six is notorious for being a slow ice world s swimmer stage, which is never fun. Now we got these bloopers. Cheap cheeps. Don't want to deal with them. And then of course you have to get through the pipes of woe near the end as well. And I believe Mitch kind of got a cheap cheap to bite him right there. Yeah, and uh, Mitch is saying enough is enough, heading straight to the ice fort, using that Lakitu cloud to good effect, though that left a bit of time for the others to catch up. As Big Zeef is now going through 5-6, one of the levels that I feel should have kept its auto-scrolling, but that's just me. Another water level. Oh joy, we're get we are getting a lot of bad levels. Seven four. Seriously, game? Come on. So many electro electrified fish. So. 
No one wants to be in Gelectro Junction, though, Sharky. No, they don't. I don't mind it, honestly. And if you ever play that level in the vanilla game, ugh. Oh. It's just a bit of time, and what did you, uh, notice? I missed. Ace kinda slid, and well. He kinda lost his Fakum Mario in the pit. That's gonna hurt a little bit. These Simmer Bros do not play easy. Come on, let's just die. Thank you. And only for a mushroom. Well, every little power up can help a bit as we enter a hand stage. Ah, cheap, cheap chase. Yep. So, regard it. So. Yep, that's, uh, I believe that's the second hand in the Finale game, so... Simple. Ooh, there are hammers, too! That helps. So, as we enter the next fortress, which is 6F1, let's at least cover how this randomizer works, since this is probably as good a time as any with the... Uh, escalator fort here. So, basically, we randomize all, a number of things here. We randomize the world order, level order, power-ups, enemies, what you can win at end card games, just about anything. Oh yeah, we also take out the whistles. You are expected to go through all eight worlds the proper way. Yep. And some of some of us randomize Mario color. Every time you get hit or power up, you're gonna change color. And some runners have the music randomized. Yep. Oh, that piranha. You know, as a good example, uh, we have audio on Big Z for right now. You normally don't hear this athletic theme in the, in the middle of the world. Nope. Now, ah, Mitch has taken over Wendy's airship, but again, Wendy will not be here. It is Iggy, the Koopa Kid that matches the world you're in, takes over the airship. And, well, he's weak. Bowser, did you forget to feed the Koopa Kids their Wheaties this morning or something? No, I'm Bowser. He probably did. Hacksers having fun jumping on a ceiling there. Hey, it's always fun to do that. And it's also fun to just spit fire balls out. And oh, World 1, here's a prime hammer opportunity. And Mitch has two of them. So, we're probably not going to see what's in that, uh, fortress. But instead, we are seeing 5-1, and oh, Mitch is clearing a way to get the item. I don't think I've seen anybody. <laughs> Go for it. And he almost got chumped. So, the way this works, you have to fly up here... And then you need to fly again, duck down, and then once you're over the two gaps, there you go. You get an item and beat the stage. What is the item today? Ooh. Ooh. Even anchor. more randomness. And the properties of an anchor, it's basically a random item. We don't know what it's going to be until you use it. It could be a hammer, it could be a frog suit. Anything, just about anything. But every single anchor in the seed will be the same. I just noticed, Peach did give a hammer bro suit out for being in the last world. So, that's gonna be nice to have 
for the end of the game. That it will. Now, Haxor is actually going up and down 5-1 normally. Oh, and there's another hammer for Mitch. <laughs> Hammers are going to be so nice to have. Haxer is now in 3-3. Mitch is taking out Lemmy's airship. We will have Larry at the end of it, though. And I haven't seen any special characteristics from the Koopa Kids yet. Oh, Earthquaker. It's possible we could have seen another one that was weak, but chances are probably not. But this is a 5 HP Koopa, though. Koopa's HP ranges from 1 to 5 as well, so that's another thing that's randomizing this. Oh! Ace of Arrows took the other path, and that is 1-6. Wasn't expecting to see that. No. <laughs> Same here. Only if you knew to go to the bottom path, you would have had a free hammer. But there's still more chances to get a hammer from a hand stage. Because once we know what we get from a hand stage, all three hand stages are going to give you the same item. Alright, World 7, the pipe maze. Pipe layouts are random. Ooh, is Mitch going to use a hammer here? I, I believe. Nope, he's oh. just going to have to choose a stage. Pick your poison, basically. Ooh. Hello, boss bass. How you doing? Me hungry. Ah, must have plumber. Ah, plumber too high. Get down there. Yeah, Boss Bass will eat you, and there's not much you can do. Nope. He wants his dinner. That's about it. He's hungry. He hasn't had his dinner yet. And he's hungry for a plumber. Oh, this level? Pretty simple. I'm ah. interested. Five, five. Plenty of opportunities to go across the donut bridge area without a problem. There is a secret passage you could take if you can take out the blocks above the second pipe, but Mitch doesn't need it. Nope, he, Mitch is going to clear out this end card game. Pretty sure. Yep, he will. And later on, he'll get another end card game. It's going to most likely be a different set. It could be ra rare. It could be the same pattern. Also, there's our fourth beta level. 5-3 beta. <laughs> I love this beta. I kind of enjoy this beta a little bit. But I don't like the end of it, usually. Because usually, there's a blooper in my way. So the reason I say that one is 5-3 beta is because you go to one end and then you have to backtrack. And in a few ways, it's similar to the actual 5-3 in that regard. And oh! The big island was a trap! We have to go all the way back to the first island and try again, where it looks like Haxor had the right idea. That is a new stage 6-2. Wow. Pipeline can tend to get you lost, so... Yeah, these one has too many lives, by the way, to game over and just be on the first island. But nobody wants to do that. Alright, Big Zeef is about to join the pipe maze, Ace of Arrow stocking up. But now Haxor has taken a lead amongst our 
four, but remember, it's left side has their race, right side has their race. Yep, and we got people fighting for a spot in a to to get to the group brackets. Top two of each group will advance to the bracket stage. That is correct, and oh. So, I had missed the island that uh, Haxor ended up in, but now I know. If Mitch chose to use a hammer, he could have potentially saved a bit of time, but choosing to save them. And just to clarify, we did not find 7-1 yet, we did find 7-6. Haxor has now found the water fort. And... Oh, Big Zeef, you were lucky with that fireball. But remember, you only have five in-game seconds before Boss Bass comes back, and uh, Boss Bass is not happy. Nope, he's mad. <laughs> he, he wants his dinner. But there's other stages that he may appear in. Maybe you'll get that lucky seed where you get two of them in one level. I've seen it. It's not fun. Ooh, Mitch and Hacks are taking different pipes. Ah, Mitch is taking the correct one, but uh-oh, 6-5. This is common boss pass territory. Not today. Oh, Angry Sun. Eh, yeah, that Angry Sun won't be a problem. He's just going to sit there and look angry. And that's about it. Some of the enemies are grouped is not really randomized on the bottom portion because... Now, if you need something, a shell, to go up there, break the blocks, perhaps, and a item in a, in a room that you usually get uh, the leaf will not be randomized as well, to prevent you know, soft locks. Ooh, and Mitch has now found 2-2, two, two, the public desert oasis. While Big Ziva is trying to get through this prawn infestation stage again, there we go. Ace is going through islands. Is he going to use his hammer? I think he has one. Thinking about it. And decides, no, not right now. Alright, I think Haxer's the first to match the one up. One up is a hammer suit! Nice. I think we've seen it a couple times, but didn't catch it. Well, we have had a Peach give a hammer suit, if I recall correctly. But now we have a way to earn more. And we didn't even see what that fortress was on Mitch's side. He just Lakitu clouded over it, I think. But someone who did not choose to skip over stuff... Mistress Bree, thank you for your support to the Speed Gaming family. Oh, we got Lugwid quaking it. So we found our two Koopas that earthquakes. Sadly, Wendy will not earthquake tonight. Well, at least for race one, maybe race two. Yeah, that is true. Yep, Mitch is the first to get through this world. We still have, let's see, worlds 2, 3, 6, and 8 left. 8 being the last, so which one are we going to have next? I'm good with 2. <laughs> okay, I caught it right before that popped up. We'll go with that. As big ah. Oh, nice timing there. Bye. Yep. Off we go into the wild black yonder, climbing high into the dark. Live in fame, take Koopa kids in flame. Nothing will stop the Koopa Air Force. Something like that. I haven't gotten the lyrics fully said yet. Oh, five, nine. Okay, that's your wild blue yonder, folks. Yep, and Mitch is going for it. And Ace is 
going to the Gitu Cloud over that level that he got to the end and got a Koopa to his face. Now we just need to see Atlantis. No, we don't, Sharky. Uh, okay, maybe next race. One one auto scorer per race should be fair enough. Ooh, another P wing. Yeah, with all the hammers that our runners have gotten, World 2 is going to be a quick one. Yep. Yeah. Make your picks in chat. What world are we going to have next? We got three and six at large. I'll go with ice. Vanilla six at six. Uh, I am not even going to guess right now. I'm just right now. We have three runners in airships. Ace uh, taking a temporary dive, but. He'll get out of this beta level shortly. Yep, just gotta find that pipe, go down, and find your exits. So many Koopas are going down right now. <laughs> oh, King. Wrong, yes, that's the wrong randomizer. And we well, got ice. Yep, uh, as Chad has been saying, ice, ice, maybe, and ooh, that's not a good pipe. We have to go the long way. Wait a minute. Is Mitch? Nope, uh, I did not see what that anchor became. Perhaps it was just a duplicate leaf? Ooh, boss pass in the Mortar Motorway. Ooh, he's hungry. This is... Oh, look, Ace has a boss pass again. He killed one earlier. He's... That, that boss pass is hung, hungry for revenge. Oh no, B Big Z f may not have a lot of hammers because he's going through the desert world the intended way, and we're seeing 3-1. Sharky, we're gonna have words. Oops. That hey, it, it, at least it's in the. It, <sighs> go ahead. First of all, that was 6 9 Beta, aka Atlanta. And as for Big Zeef's side, uh, march along, sing our song with the army of the troop. Count the brave, count the true, we have fought the nincompoops, uh, something- I don't- I'm learning this right now. <laughs> you'll- you'll probably get it before the finale. If I'm ever allowed to have song lyrics on hand ever again. <laughs> so yeah, that was the, uh, army stage, aka the tank stage where you get an item at the end, while Mitch is just going through 6-5 without a problem. Yep, same with Haxor. They're both neck and neck to each other. But they're in different races. Alright. Zeef is skipping it. Oh my gosh, that's another beta level! 5-4 beta! What are you doing here? Uh, pretty much, don't jump into Chompa Bro fire thing, stink guys. It's basically a run straight and avoid a few enemies. And avoiding stuff is what we have to do in 6-3-F, a.k.a. the Carpet Fort. I'm watching that hot foot. Make sure he's not being evil. I'm 
Boom Boom goes down easily. Midge is dunk in over and over just because he can and breaks that lock. Alright, just to clarify some confusion going on in chat, there are technically two races going on simultaneously. Left side is Big Z versus Mitch Flower Power. Right side, Haxer versus Ace of Arrows. All four are playing the same seed, just because it was, you know, they wanted the race at the same time and it just worked out that way. So if you see one person out of the four win, the other race will still take place. And again, shoutouts to Adirondack Rick for further explaining. Now, Ace of Arrows is going through the Air Force, while Big Zeef is approaching the Pyramid. Right, that's where 5-9 is at. Oh my gosh, Boss Bass at the Blue Pipe Special, 7-9. Oh, lovely. Oh, and 4-1 on Haxer's side. He chose the other way. That has a Boss Bass, too. It's boss bass. Oh, that was closed. Um, I did not know boss bass could uh, reach such a high voice. Neither did I. All right, 5-8 is next on our list. Ace of Arrows trying to catch up getting through Morton's airship. Hello there, Ludwig. And Big Zeef with hammer suit already equipped. Never mind. It got burnt. Unfortunately. And speaking of burning, here's a level that many people wish would just burn and go away. The Dark Door Maze, World 8's Fortress. And we got Morton here. Wait. Yeah. Which Big Steve took out. Alright, Haxer's attempting to go for the fast door. Nice. And gets it, and timed it very well, too. And yet another boom boom goes down. Oh, Ace doesn't have any hammers. So he has to do the sand the tinted way. Or the desert. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah, Ace of Arrows has to basically follow in Big Zeef's footsteps, but in this case, hammers are making a huge difference. Mitch, Flower Power, and Haxer are right now leading their races. With Haxer almost done with 1-1. One, one. So, decision time. Ah, Haxer going for 2-5, a.k.a. Chain Chomp Alley. Yep. I just gotta learn these... Some of these names, but at some point I will. I know a few of them at least. If you're talking actual names of levels, those are unofficial. I just call them like I see them. Yeah, some people call them different. Oh. Yeah, for Dex instance, Copa. yeah. For instance, the fortress on Haxer's side right now. Some call it Lava Fort. Some call it Sky Fort. We all call it. It's kind of tricky, but not too bad once you get used to it. Ace of Arrows finding Fort Knox, a.k.a. 7F1. And apparently farming for some lives right now. Well, if you fall down, might as well try to get as many coins as you can, because you can't do anything until... Then, so. 
Did I just see another boss pass on Mitch's side? Yep, Mitch took the other way, so we have 6-1 with another hungry fish. I just want to see a boss pass in... the fort. That'd probably be bad and not bad because, well... Ooh, Mitch tried to get that clip. I mean, does not get it. I think Mitch was trying to go for it again, but struggled a little bit. Meantime, Haxer is... Oh, Mitch is trying to use the anchors. No effect. In the meantime, World 3, not free, but we do get to skip a few stages. Yep. And yeah, he has the, I don't... Oh no, not this one. Uh, on Sharky, fort. why don't you explain that one? <laughs> I believe this is 7 Fort 1? I tend to get the two forts mixed up. I it's, call it... It's 7 Fort 2. Okay. I got it mixed up, but... Piranha... I call it the Piranha Fort. And As sometimes, ugh. No one wants to talk about that level. Let's just focus on Ace of Arrows. Hello there, Muncher Run. Yeah, more relaxing level. Just grab a star and just run. No matter what you do, just run. Grab stars on your way, so you don't die. Sometimes these stars do try to run the wrong way. <laughs> well... That Koopa was weak. He might not. He might not eat ate his breakfast today. But oh no! Oh god! These enemies are not nice. Enemies are not nice. Stage levels are not nice. We have to deal. Seven five is one of the possible stages. And Haxer chose to keep the Tanuki suit and go for it. Oh, Ace of Arrows gets uh, spikes on the shoes. Oh, and then a fireball right in the face. Oh, that's gonna hurt. But he's going to take the Summer Bros out as revenge. Gives a peeling for his troubles. Mitch has now encountered Piranha Fort and is going at it very aggressively. Oh, attempted to sail through the tunnel with blinding speed. Missed time to jump, but gets another fire flower that a crazy foot just took away. Yep, you get it, but then you lose it. Oh, nice kill there on the Hexer side. And gets through that level. It takes forever, but is it worth playing it? Most cases, probably. So here's the thing: it that was the three four tile. The three five tile may be faster in this case, but we don't know if we're going to see an intentional death here. Mitch is small, so maybe. Oh, there's another hammer. Yeah, because Mitch of is going to. Oh, I see what Mitch is doing. Using his hammer. And the clouds. And just going straight over to 3 4. And I was just peeing in the process. He's Mitch. He's be, he'd be fine. As long as he gets that mushroom and be careful of the pits near the end. Yeah, if you die after using the clouds, you're going to have to go back all the way to the last pipe or level you've beaten. So, you're going to have to play the levels you skipped. Which, is not fun at all. And we got Cheap Cheap Heaven on Haxor's side. But, Art let's do it. 
hard to call it heaven when uh, we're still near a bunch of water. Ah, uh, there's Wendy Koopa. Yep, last Koopa to go down. And she goes down with ease. It's about 43.11. Mitch grabs the last wand. Now, Big Z dealing with the dark door maze. Ace of Arrows trying to avoid becoming fish food. Alright, he has about four to five in-game seconds. Struggling with the note blocks. Has to be careful! No. We have dinner. We have dinner. Press F. Press F. In the meantime, Mitch has found A2, Sands of Shame, actually taking the Sands, able to avoid the pit, and Boss Bass, stop flying up there! Thank you. And he was basically in line with that <laughs> card at the end of the level. And the Hex was taking the Sands of Shame as well. Nobody wants to deal with A2. We found Dark Path. In World 8, we want to find a path to Bowser. Hopefully, we can find it quick. That's the best pipe to find, but just like a past pipe, it's a find a dark pipe room. You get... Basically, there's five pipes in there, so... You have access to about two of them, most likely. Be a fort, you get access to two more. So... Good call to find this. Oh boy, we either have to go across the hand bridge or maybe go through this stage that Mitch is about to enter. And it is Donut Fort, aka Second Fortress of World 4. Home to hot head, hot foot, and booze. Mainly. Oh, so close again. Uh, quick kill. However, Mitch is getting the rare uh, platform victory scene there. Is this the right path or not? It is. It is, and thus we end with. In the Navy, where we can rando all the time. In the Navy, where getting PBs are sublime. In the Navy, where stopping boss pass ain't the crime. In the Navy, in the Navy. That's the only one I'm good at, folks. <laughs> yep, and that was pretty good, too. We need more. We need. We need to get people to learn these, so we can get more people singing. <laughs> Mitch has equipped the hammer suit and is now in Bowser Koopa's castle. Ooh, he almost took a ride with a donut. You don't really want to do that. And he loses his hammer suit. No, but it gets him one up clip. And Haxer has pre-equipped the hammer suit. Probably realized, okay, the worst of the forts are already done with. Let's just move on. Big Z struggling with Piranha Fort equips the hammer suit right now. And a star, too. You do not want to see this level ever. But hammer suit makes yeah. it ten times easier. Yeah, but right now Mitch still has a time advantage because uh, while it was nice that Haxer was able to pull off that clip, it's a little slow. Whoa, and the Roto Disc almost got him. Have two more jumps for Bowser. So uh -oh, then but Mitch. Oh, oh, look at this! Haxer's approaching. This is going to 
be close! What? <laughs> we, we need to wait for the official SRL times, and we need to wait for these runners to get through the doors. This... Is gonna be good. Oh Who gets my... it? Alright. Runners are through the doors. Let me state the times. Go ahead. Both... Both runners have run their races, so that's not in dispute. Hacks are finished with an official SRL time of 48 minutes, 18 seconds. Mitch Flower Power, 48 minutes, 19 seconds! One second difference! <laughs> and I'm sure both runners are relieved that they are not facing each other right now. Oh my god. That was... Close. A few frames difference. It, imagine that really racing each other. We're going to have to look into that properly. But this looks like they just did get, did get it by a few frames, though. Uh, I may be mixing up tournament rules, but that may have been declared an auto tie. <laughs> GG's in both of them. Well played. Fortunately, we don't have to worry about that situation right now. We get to rest a little bit. <laughs> yep. You know what? Mitch will go 1 0, and Axel will go 2 and 1 now in their respective groups. You know what, let's see if we can get our runners in for an interview. We have enough time, and okay, Adirondack Rick is confirming there is no... There is no range rule for ties, so it w if those two were racing against each other, it would have been Haxer's win. <sighs> wow. This is great to be called. I think the last time I, I got to call a one second difference was on a weekly almost a year ago. Wouldn't be surprised if it was around the same time a year, too. Just wait for Flags 2, which will be a little bit after this race concludes. And I'll give details of what the difference in that flags when we're about to start that race. Ace is back in is in one one now. Try to fly through this. And uh, for those asking where 7 1 is, uh, there we go on Big Z's side. As, uh. <laughs> Mitch, I, I hope you're not showing any later levels of that. <laughs> there are many people that want to play through that. What's going on, Jeff? No, 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 Mitch, do not show that. Do Mitch, that, 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 and... that is late game. Thank you. And welcome, he Hexer. What a seed. And what close with yeah. Mitch. <laughs> so I beat him by a second? What? Yes. Uh, did I pass him at the end? My Bowser's castle is insane. Yes. <laughs> Mitch lost his hammer yeah. suit in Bowser's castle. Oh, no. Yeah, to a disco waffle and had his way for Bowser to jump. That was a great finish. Yeah, um, honestly, that seed was feeling like a 50 plus minute seed um, as I was going through it. And then um, there's a couple worlds that were kind of fortunate at the end that were pretty quick. Um, and then World 8, ah, it wasn't, wasn't the best, but, um, if only I'd have known to, you know, play the second auto scroller right away. 
Yeah, did uh, did he do the same route that I did in World 8, or did he uh, figure it out right away? I think he, he went to the dark room, beat the fort, and then he went back and found a path. Okay, so he did the same thing I did. Okay. Yeah, you, you and Mitch were pretty close to each other the whole time, pretty much. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> I I kind of I I thought I was playing well, but it's hard to tell because a seed like that, I had to play a lot of levels. Like you could tell by how many lives I had. I had like almost twenty five lives. It's ridiculous. Yep, lives are pretty good half. Yeah, well, I mean, I purposely got the the five up right away just because. Uh, I, you only lose two seconds actually getting that extra fanfare. Um, you have to wait at the at a cutscene at the end of it when you just get the regular one up anyway. So it's actually only two seconds slower to get the five. I just like the stockpile of the lives because you never know what's going to happen. You might want to take intentional death places and you might end up taking a lot um, some places and you might get an unfortunate draw on a stage or two or something. So yeah, gotta expect the unexpected. You might get a hammer bro that will never move and well we might have to fight him until you win yeah exactly um although sometimes if it's bad enough you're like dang it it's better off just game overing and then i've got these 20 lives what am i gonna do but um hopefully if you have that many lives you'll figure it out at some point uh i i guess i was told um that i still had a cloud i i didn't notice that. i thought i only had one so i must have had the extra cloud I think cl clouds were in the end card game. I don't remember which match it was. Yeah, I know they were in there. I I felt it was kind of it was kind of useless though, to be honest. Like as I was playing it, I was like, none of these items are that good, and I don't think end cards actually worth playing it for clouds because every time you play the end card, you might as well just like play a level. So if you're just getting two clouds from the end card, to me, it's not really worth playing the end card unless you're matching the whole thing every time yeah and welcome mitch ggs on that seed yo thanks guys so what are your happen? thoughts about flags one for this uh i didn't know that roto discs were actually randomized i kind of messed that one up oh shoot <laughs> yeah, i had no idea the direction that like i knew they were separate enemies like different directions of the roto discs the 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 death waffles for people who don't know um, the different directions are different enemies. Like, there's different Roto-Disc enemies. Like, it's not just the same when you swap the direction. So when I was climbing the stairs in Bowser with Hammer Suit, I didn't know that uh, the Roto-Discs would actually have one that would, with a different direction. So, kind of lost the Hammer oh, Suit. Oh, yeah. There, but that's okay. That's okay. Well, yeah, that, that one clip that normally loses time, the one over the, uh, the donut, actually saves time because you skip the waffles. You just gotta avoid that last one, which almost got you, though. Well, I, I think what happens is as long as you keep going forward, it never hits you. It hasn't hit me oh, yet. Oh, no, so, no. I mean, <laughs> does no, it? I Are oh, you yeah, sure? Was, oh, yeah, I was doing the stairs clean. We're no, I got the clip. Of stairs, right? Oh, the, the clip. clip. Oh, yeah, yeah. As long as you hold forward, you're good. You're good. But I can't say that for different direction roto discs. I've <laughs> I've no clue. Yeah, I don't I don't know. I haven't like I've gotten the clip there a few times in practice, and I haven't taken damage yet. So I'm assuming you can't. But there could be like one pattern that damages you, that I just haven't seen it. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I, so I got the swaggy uh, super swim in four four. You know, because I, I entered it with the tail. And then I damage boosted, and you know, you bounce off the lacket to you and do the super swim at the end. I got that. Oh, yeah, do the super swim. So you did level five in World 4 then? Yeah. Okay, I did level. I did level six. And that gave me a hammer. It was a hand level in World 4, oh, right? Yeah, I, I got a. Yeah, I got a hammer too there as well. Mm -hmm. I did, uh. It was hand three, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, it was hand three. I think we've seen two out of hand stages. 
I thought we called. We seen Cheap Cheap Alley and the third one. You guys right. are talking about. Cheap Cheap is the third one. The other one would have been Hammer Bro Hallway or Poodaboo Place. Also, okay. Big Zeef actually won. He took a Cory Bow shoe through 5 3. Ooh, sorry, Mitch. <laughs> I'm, kid I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I just like to see the shoe equipped. What can I say? Yeah, I'm so confused on what's going on. <laughs> so, I'll give the short summary of what happened here. Both of you found your hammers and Lakitu clouds early. Uh, the other two did not. Yeah, the fire flower in the uh, spade game gave clouds. Oh, okay. That's so yeah. I, I knew it. Something gave clouds, but I wasn't playing the game because I'm like, if I get a, di I guess it was probably worth playing one more time if I got the same card. But I, I didn't actually have much of my card written down because I matched like almost all of it the second card I got. Oh damn, lucky. Oh, Big Steve uses a hammer. I like that lock here. And hello, hand bridge. And no, let's go the other way. Yeah, the way that Steve needs to go is back to the first map and, you know, start at the beginning make, and then make your way to the end. Speaking of end, uh, Mitch, why did you have no. to show off potential spoiler? Spoiler for what? What'd I do? What'd I do? You really didn't know? <laughs> no, what happened? GPW. What, Grand Poo World? <laughs> yeah, that was endgame territory. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. It's already been out for a while now. <laughs> it's already been out for a while now. It's, over. It's, it's, it's lost now. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> uh, we... So hopefully no one had their endgame ruined entirely by that. <laughs> All right, Zeef is well, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't show anything. It showed that there was a path there, but I think, I think uh, everyone already knows. Hey, you don't know how to get that path. That's that's the hard part. Fair enough. <laughs> Big Zeef now going through the Navy Ace of Arrows, trying to catch up. Yep, and gets a frog suit from Peach. Enters World Eight. Only a few more levels. And takes a sands of shame. Along with everybody else, I believe. There's no shame in taking that path, in my opinion. But picking the item up, maybe a little bit of shame in that. There's <laughs> <laughs> only a one up, though. And Big Steve is taking a frog suit into Bowser Castle. Well, let's see, Zeef already got us the Karibo shoe. Why not a frog suit finish? Man, if he gets the frog kill on Bowser too, I mean, you definitely lost, man. Like, that's worth 30 minutes. <laughs> I know, I had to f friggin' uh, use the tail. I just sitting there ducking. Takes his time to guard you. Did you die in, the, in Bowser I Castle? No, no, I just lost my hammer suit on going up the stairs. Oh, okay. That's about it. And we got some toasted frog. I pretty much have died. I might as well. If I had an extra hammer suit in my inventory, <laughs> I don't know if it would have been faster. Yeah, it's it's really close at that point, isn't it? Whether it's faster. Because you saved 31 seconds. It probably would have broke even, I believe. I had a bunch of hammer suits as well. I actually used one for the last fort, and it was the navy, and I just got the speed through it. I believe the end card game had one. I know, I'd say... Yeah, unfortunate. <clears throat> 
Unfortunately, I do not take uh, a lot of notes when it comes to the end card game matches. I probably should. Also, oh no, Ace of Arrows is taking Handbridge and got pulled into 3-8. He's going to learn his lesson once he gets through to Hambridge that this is not required. Big Steve is going through the last part of the donuts and time to face one on one against Bowser. I didn't mean, we didn't mention earlier, but the bottom of Bowser's hitbox is nothing really. You can just stand there, give all the ba hugs to Bowser. You want only the top half of Bowser's hitbox is death. Ah, oh, look, he's even holding his arms out, hugging Mario. That's cute. But and then, so long, Bowser. Victory theme plays. Timer ticks down. Whoosh! And Big Z f finishes third place overall, but second in his race with an official SRL time of 1 hour, 4 minutes, 19 seconds. Yeah, get your GGs out. So this next, so this next seed is like it's like pipes and stuff everywhere, right? Yeah, so all the levels. Is so, okay, let me... Yeah, it's all the pipes. Like, the same number of pipes in the world are, are there. Like, say if a world has four pipes, there's still four pipes. But their locations are any one of the spots on the map they can be. Yeah. Like, and there's a lot of be. bridges, too, right? A lot of path bridges. Yeah, you can have bridges. Like, worlds six, seven, eight... Um, one, four, usually have bridges. Cool, 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 cool. Yeah. And the locks are moved, so you can have that lock completely just right in front of the castle. Okay. Or the airship. In yeah. State. It's All weird right, you guys sometimes ready? breaking... I mean, I'm ready when... <laughs> well, Ace is still going, so... Um, oh, so yeah, sometimes uh, one fort, if you break the lock with one fort, it actually saves you some levels, so it's not like normal where it just makes sense to get the item every time. So you kind of look out for that too. Wait, what? Say that again? So like one fort, you know, the way logic works is you never need the, to break the lock to advance in regular randomizer, but in this um, set, sometimes if you break the lock, you can skip a bunch of levels by beating the fort, so sometimes you do want to do it. Sometimes you want to beat the fort? Yeah, sometimes you want to break the lock. The lock by... Yeah, sometimes you want to break the lock instead of getting the item in one fort. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ace of Errors finally realized what direction he needs to go. So there's a few more levels to go through. And he be on the home stretch to kill Bowser. So wait, you played eight worlds and you didn't figure out the waffles were randomized until Bowser's castle? <laughs> uh, okay, so I figured out that like a single waffle can be randomized into a double waffle. I didn't know that it randomized their directions, which I should have known. Their directions can be randomized. So like... Whenever I entered World 8 Fort 1, vanilla, wherever it was in the game, like some of those waffles were doubles, right? Like, I, so I knew it was randomized, but yeah. the direction, the direction I didn't know. But I should have known from making like ROM hack levels, I know that they're individual enemies, directions and doubles. But I wasn't, I, uh, I wasn't paying attention. I was like, climb the stairs, go, go, go. And hello to a waffle. Greed is undefeated and untied. If you guys haven't already, give all four of these runners a follow. They put on a, gr a good show for you. And I'm not following that Mitch Flower Power guy. He doesn't even play Mario 3 anymore. 
Yeah, I'm not following him. That guy doesn't yeah. even win. Right? He just sits there playing ROM hacks. What do you think? You're good playing your Mario World with your cape? <laughs> yeah, with my frog suits. I can just see the 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 Pog Champ in the frog face right now as Ace of Arrows is going. <laughs> Oh, I want to make a ROM hack that edits like just that one one face. <laughs> the pog champ. Yep. Can we get a frog kill? Just take your time with a frog. You might win. We'll only take twenty minutes off, so here get bumped up to third. Taking the low path. Oh, nicely done there. Yeah, isn't the low path a lot easier with frog suit? It's certainly longer. There's a free item if you choose to take it. The problem, though, is that these fireballs are well aligned! Oh! Rip. Barbecued. Barbecued frog, anyone? Alright, Ace is serious now. Has the hammer suit equipped. Yeah, let's just get this done over with and get with our second race. It's going to be more hyped than this first one. I would hope. Can we just have a tie in the second race? Now you gotta beat me by one second. Although, I'm, I'm kind of afraid for you since you've never played it. I hope you don't get lost. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> getting lost, getting found, it's all the same. And Mitch is just wandering aimlessly in World 8. Yeah, after watching, after watching some of your streams, I know that like, you can you can defeat a castle in like the handbridge section and it might give you the bridge for the very last section for Bowser, right? Yeah, yeah. maybe. So if yeah, you're lucky. You have to watch the screen flash and everything if it if it like I, I gotta figure it out. You know? And and this is the fun of it, not knowing what the what the heck I'm doing, so you know? <laughs> you didn't stand a chance the last race, so <laughs> the one second. I'm kidding, obviously. It was one second. <laughs> With that, Ace of Arrows does wrap up the race. One hour, ten minutes, thirty-one seconds. I never saw Bowser do a short rise and fall like that before. That was what I was curious about. Oh, did he just instantly turn upside down and kind of fall? Yeah. Yeah, that's frame. You get one frame to do that. Oh, I did not, I did not know that. It's also a speed strat too. Not likely in any RTA runs, but yes, it's it's faster to do that as well. It's really cool. It's like a task strat. You gotta one cycle them and do that. All right. Well, Mitch, Hexer, GGs to both of you. But we have another race to set up, so uh, I'm afraid uh, you two need to head out of the commentary booth, and we'll hopefully get this thing going in about five to ten minutes. So for everyone else, All right. sit tight. We'll be back. Yep. All right, we'll be back. More hype. More one-second wins. Yep. Grab some water, some popcorn, and get ready for more randomizer. We'll be back in a few.
Hey, Paisanos, it's the Super Mario Brothers 3 Randomizer Tournament Doubleheader Part 2. Yes, we are back from our little ad break or near equivalent here, as we once again have Big Z versus Mitch Flower Power and Haxer versus Ace of Arrows. I am Wolfman2000. Sharky is currently refueling with, well, with everything that's been going on. We certainly need a little bit of a break, but our runners want to immediately take on flag set number two. Same as before, but now the overworld is crazy. Mitch has his... Haxer has his second. And we are just going to make... You know, make do with what we've got. Our runners are taking off, starting with... World Champ. It looks like the level is 1-4, and once again, no auto-scrolling shenanigans in most of them. As a friendly reminder, Big Zeef, Mitch Flower Power in Group J, Haxer and Ace of Arrows in Group K. So, even if one person finishes, it's still okay, the other side needs to at least get their winner in. And here is where... Oh, that's an ugly pipe transition. Well, it leads to the second half of the world, but as you see, that lock is blocking the path directly to the castle. Or the airship, whatever you want to call it. Oh, and Big Zeef is caught between two bros. And fortunately, Sledge Bros cannot fall down that easily. And wow, Ace of Arrows has already found 7 4. Yep, early water stage. Gotta love them. However, I actually like the approach that Ace took. He's knocking the pyramid out because the fortress is the next one, and this way he doesn't have to redo it. Whereas Mitch, having gone through 3 3, is finishing up door 6 4, aka 3 F1, and now has to go through 7 4 himself. So right now, Ace of Arrows has the awareness, but Haxer's uh, skills here may end up letting him come out on top. Speaking of top, uh, have you ever seen a mushroom with a flower for a head, Sharky? Oh, it's been a long while, but you don't want to deal with them, Billy. Yeah, the uh, sliding tile game is rare to see here, but it is a good way to get some extra lives if your timing is, you know, decent. Yep. Yeah. I think... I'm one of the few runners of the randomizer that, when I'm low on lives, will go to the match game to just try to get a few lives. Usually results is nothing. And wow, look at this, Ace of Arrows and Haxer are near tied entering the World 6 airship, and Mitch Flower Power in his own race is trying to make this a an unofficial three-way three -way tie four-way here. Let's have a three-way tie, three-second difference. Haxer, oh, we got an Earthquake, Koopa. Morton. Shaking the ground. Morton, you're supposed to have a big mouth, not a big belly. Now, thank you. Was that a five hitter? I think he was. 345, 347, 348 on the time, respectively, for the th three of them. So about 30 second difference from the first world. 
And, uh-oh, Big Z has to be careful. I know why he wanted th to take out that hammer, bro, but has no choice. Doesn't want to deal with fire bros in the water. Has to go through this airship with... Basically, this is his one chance to get over to World 6. Yeah, once you get through here, you might be best off of just losing at Mario and just refill your lives. On the downside, your score will reset, so if you were close to 80,000, well, you're going to have to start over on that. Also, wow, interesting uh, pipe maneuvering here as uh, Mitch Flower Power has now entered 1-5 bit. Yep. And, oh my gosh, that fortress configuration on Haxor's side. We, we had to take a pipe to go beyond a lock. We at least get a Lakitu clad out of it. But, it's... You kind of have to wonder how this is going to go. I think that fortress on Haxor's right is probably going to build the bridge to get up to the other fortress to break the lock forward. Which means the third fortress is probably going to be skipped over entirely. Yep, one of the first forts has to be, you know, making that bridge. Because I don't think that fort can make its own bridge because you can't even access to it. And now, uh, Haxer... Go ahead. Yeah, I was thinking about... It'd be nice to have that fort by itself to make the bridge for itself, but I don't think that could happen. In the meantime, Haxer and Ace of Arrows are dealing with the Air Force. There's the bridge. We are going from one fortress almost immediately to another. Apparently we have a pyramid in the way. Yep, that pyramid wants some action tonight. Now, Big Zeef is dealing with the Air Force, which, funny enough, means that, wow, Big Zeef technically has a lead right now while Mitch Flower Power is going for power-ups. But at the same time, if Big Zeef gets a game over here, he's going to fall very far behind. He has to be very careful. Oh, and, and I just realized, Frog Suit on Air Force, not a good idea. Oh, and then, no. oh, no! Piranha Ford is at the other end of the pyramid. Ew. <sighs> at least it's early on. But you don't want to see this at Oh! Nearly died in that piranha. My least favorite fort. Okay, Big Steve did take out the Air Force. But he is not going to like the other side. And oh no, hammer bro in the way. What configuration? Okay, double stacked hammers. See if it's fine right now. Ooh, get a hammer. And in the meantime, Ace has found... Oh, this is... This is the 3-9... No, not 3-9. Uh... No, right, this is... This is the 5-3 beta. We saw this on the previous one. Yep. Yeah, we did. But, of course, we got a big Bertha. That ace of most... want to leapfrog over. Somehow. But lives. We will take our victories where we can. Axer watching out for the for the baby Bertha gets through. Yep. At the end, Ace has flower star mushroom. All of one of each. Too bad you don't get bonus flies for that. And now Ace of Arrows has learned. Uh, yeah, we have to go through Piranha Fort. There is no choice. And Big Zeef 
I think he actually wanted a mushroom there, but instead gets a star, while Haxor has suddenly run into Fort Knox. I did not see where that was on the overworld. Was this a required tile? Ouch, an ace is slid in that lava. Ace does have two hammers. You can use one of them, but this might this fort might be required to get to the castle. I'll have to double check the map once uh, Haxor finishes. Ooh, Mitch taking a lava bath. Wasn't expecting that. Yeah, we got three runners in Piranha Fort. <sighs> oh. Never mind, we saw the map. Haxer just chose to chance the fort while Mitch is able to just go through the desert oasis and uh, catch, uh, catch up on a little bit of time here. Yep, everybody decided, you know what, let's go a different way. Let's see how this will turn out. Ace picking up a nice and a one up. While Haxer has loaded up on some items, I didn't see what they were. And in the meantime, we are in Morton's airship, but we already took out Morton. Instead, Lemmy has taken over. Yep. He stole Morton's airship and ran off with it. I flew off with it. And pays for it. I like how... You know, this Kupov goes left to right, just in the air, in the air. But we don't even get to see that here. Nope, we probably won't. And <sighs> Thanks for... is... Go ahead. Yeah. yeah, thankfully, Piranha Fort was not required. Oh, look at that map configuration <laughs> for World 3! Well, at least we don't have to worry about breaking a lock to- we are taking out a fortress to, uh... You know, build a bridge or anything, we just have to get to the pipes which are all the way at the other end! Uh, you'd love to see World 3 to be like this. No early pipe? Well, you're gonna have to dig around for a little while to get to a pipe. The only advantage we have right now is, well, one, there's one trapped hammer bro down there, but two, we don't have to worry at all about, you know, finding a fortress in the middle we're going to encounter both, no matter what. We just have to find the right pipe, which is going to be somewhere in the middle of the world. Which really feels strange to say here. I mean, look at that. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the level tiles right there. Yeah, and Haxor is in, I believe, the normal 5-3. That is correct. We have three of our runners in 5-3 right now, but no Karibo shoe available. So it immediately loses some coolness points from me. Yep, we need a Kariba shoe at least once the seed to be rode on. Eh, I already got my wish on the last one. I don't. I can live without. Uh oh, boy, seven A Piranha Alley. This is another toughie. Oh, an axe for. Kinda hugged a piranha there. He does have a cloud if he needs it, but does use a f flower. Either power up works. Oh, and okay, good. Mitch does have Starman and gets into the treasure trove pipe. Fun fact this had a hammer suit. Well, there's one right there. If you were to ever choose to enter a bonus room like that with a Tanuki suit, turn into a statue, and pick up a power-up, 
You softlock yourself until the timer runs out, so don't do that. Grab a turns around, plays an end card game, let's find some matches. No match there. Oh, Ace of Arrows was caught between a Venus flytrap and a hard pipe. That's never a good feeling. And we have our first hand stage. Ah, Boodaboo Place. Both Mitch and Hacksaw get through it. What's the hand item of the day? Ribbit. Frog suit. <laughs> Well, at least we have some backup items. Kind of. Yeah, frog suits on that frog suits are not bad. Ooh, Mitch decides to skip on this fortress. Oh look at those pipes. <laughs> one of them is the right one. Which one is it? Pick a number in chat between one and whatever. <laughs> I didn't think we were going to be bringing that game in, but sure. What is it, like six pipes there? Well, there are five on this side, but we're only going to enter three. So I guess it's really one, two, or three in this case. Yeah, for <laughs> All right, we are now through five, eight. So, uh... Let's ch let's uh, check out pipe number one. <laughs> Is pipe number one the winner? No. no. How about pipe number two? Yep. And no block is blocking it. Yeah, as I thought I saw the map, and there were no locks or bridges to worry about. And we got Windy. Only a two hitter. And on the Hexer side, we have a beta level again. Have a trouble with this frog suit. <laughs> you would think this is the one level where a frog suit would be easier, but then again, we're not used to doing vertical swimming levels like this. I just, I just wish this was in the main game. And Peach gives out a music box. Ooh, note that map configuration for World 1 as we enter 1-3. We may see uh, the first fort in its pseudo vanilla location here because that lock technically does not block a path. Well, it doesn't block a required path. We can always go around. Yeah, you like to see things like that, so... We can have French vanilla in the seed. But you know, probably nobody's going to go say hi to it. Unless they want an item, possible item. And we got 8 1 on Mitch's side. And unlike the previous race that Mitch just took part in, no leaf to skip, so has to go through the long way. And for those that have just tuned in late, the way these randomizer flags are set, no warp whistles. You have to go through the intended worlds. There's just no way about it. You will see every single world, with the exception of the warp zone. And Mitch is choosing to skip the fort and visit 7-2 instead. And going for a P-Speed Strat, ooh, oh. gets the jumps, gets the jumps, and... Touchdown! And Mario's touchdown celebration is running to the garage. I need to learn that Strat. I'm sure many of us do here. But Mitch still wants the end card games, wants to at least see if the items inside are worth it. Hello, Haxer managed to get some hammers for out of this. 
and has immediately jumped over to 6-8, otherwise known as... Uh... Iceland. Yep, Goom giant Goombas, giant Koopas galore. And a random H. And Ace of Arrows is still keeping pace with Haxer here. I believe both runners used a hammer. Yeah, that, that is the... Correct! Oh! There's Atlantis! And Mitch is playing it. Oh, wow. And if you don't have a cloud, I think it's required. Yeah, that is on the way. So, unless you have a cloud, you're going through. And I don't think... Well... Haxor does have a cloud in his inventory. He and is about green. to use it. Actually, has multiple clouds. These levels can swing a race just like that. Because this is like yeah. a four minute level? Uh, closer to two, but oh, it certainly two. feels like four, if not longer. Now, while In our runners. Go, go ahead. <laughs> Alright. While our runners did receive a little bit of a reprieve from the end card game, once we get into the uh, bracket stages. End card games, I believe, will be gone for the rest of the round. That is correct. Another thing is, hammers won't have much of a use because they will not break locks anymore. That is correct. The lock breaking ability of hammers was a randomizer special feature that has been added for ease of convenience. But we'll take that convenience away once we are done with all of the group stage matches. Also, I believe uh, Larry was an Earthquaker as... Oh, that is an ugly World 5. As we are suddenly back in the army. And no, I'm not attempting to sing that again. One day, one time a day, be good. I almost said one one time per seed, but well, this is never seed, so that doesn't work. Again, I can do navy without a problem, but army and air force, I need work. Oh, nice. No <laughs> Hammer bro suit. <laughs> well, that'll certainly help. And, uh, well, if we lose all the hammer suits, we have another frog suit available. Uh, here's another hand level. Yeah, and then hammer bros decide, you know what, I'm not going to worry about this. Goodbye. I was in the pit. Or lava. I love to see that. A fun note. In this world, if you get a tanned colored fort... It's going to create a bridge, but if you get a blue-colored fort, well, it's going to break a lock. So you really don't want to see a blue fort down on the ground, because you might have to double-dip to that tower. Well, there is some good news. We don't actually have to worry about the tower this seed today. Oh, yeah, there is the lock right there. Well, it's not just that. N n note the uh, overworld map once we see it again. It's just a pipe to get to Skyworld. The tower is technically... A you could go in if you really wanted to, but there would be no point. And you you never have to actually... You're never stopped by the tower. You can just skip it if it's on the way. Oh, yeah. That is a thing. 
I bet Mitch bees. A pipe, and now we're in Skyland. Oh, but Haxer didn't know that you could skip the tower and instead is entering 4-1. Ooh, Ace, a moose got clipped by that hammer, bro. And that one just threw a hammer and hit him in the head. And in the meantime, Mitch has entered 4-2, where we see an angry son wanting to cause some problems. The question is, will we scroll far enough? Yes, we will, but, uh, not really. Yeah, he didn't make any really appearances last seed. I think we only seen him one time last seed, and he was a no factor. And then suddenly we're back on the floating iceberg of, I want to say, 6-4 beta. I believe that is correct. It's been a while since I last played a finale game. But I believe that is correct. Well, it could, actually, based off of that ending, no, no, I'm thinking, I was thinking of 6-7, but that pipe was f f higher up. Maybe 6-2 beta. But the thing is, Mitch chose to clear the stages like that while Haxer was able just went around and ooh, that's rare to see a forced coin chip invasion. Gets a star out of it. And Haxor has decided, eh, enough is enough. Let's just get on the World 4 airship and end this trip through Skyland. I just cannot wait for World 7 to appear. I love how some of these maps look. Well, is it going to be 4 or 7 next? Those are the, those are the only two out of order we haven't seen yet. Looks like Haxer will be the first to find out. Yep, just falling down back to Earth to save a king that says something random. Yeah, saving a king that knows how to ruin a good joke. Oh my gosh, uh, well, there's one fortress we're skipping. <laughs> wow, I've never seen a setup like that quite yet. Well, are we going to get lost in this world? Potentially. Oh, oh my wow. <laughs> That's as close to world free as we are going to get here. World one airship, let's go. That's like a minute world. Okay, I'm super jumping Lugwig. That has. Yeah, that was definitely like a these. super jump. He didn't want to be touched. But my God. Basically, one minute world. You probably won't see that for a while again. That's a good thing to bring up during our interview later. When we get to him. About that. And, and as such, World 4 is the remaining one out of order, and ooh, we do need to build a bridge, it looks like. Question is, is it that closer fortress, or the farther one? <sighs> I, as a viewer, there's a hammer, 
I kind of want it to be farther, but in this race, let's have it close by. We will see what happens. Ace is now dealing with 6-3. Mitch has just entered the pipe maze. And Zeef is just one stage away. Also 6-3. Oh, but it's not it. Wow. That pipe is kind of useless. You just get a little bit closer, but it doesn't save any time, sadly. Alright, so... Second Fortress of World 4 in World 4. If this makes the bridge, <laughs> this is another vanilla... Well, but I'll find out here in a second. Will he get to go to fight the last Koopalin? Yes! The bridge has been made. Onward to airship. Oh, but we have to revisit the airship. Haxor slipped and fell. We don't see this often. All four players basically on an airship on an airship at one time. We've seen three players last seed, basically all four in this seed. It is a very special occasion, I agree. But perhaps this seed wants to show a little bit of mercy after, well, what we dealt with last time. Oh. Okay, let's see. Can the last Koopa be Fidelo? Nope. Yes. No. Oh, uh, he did get hit by a lot of fireballs, so... 3 or 4 HP. And Ace of Arrows taking a different path. That's Super Tanks. And for the record, I do not have a song prepared for that one. Maybe next time you might have one. You might have one ready. Um, know of a good song based off of the reserves? Okay, well, okay. Ace, g get the lucky, like the hex are here. World 8 at times is as much of a maze as World 7 is normally. Oh, and a wasted hammer! You don't fool me there, Mr. Angry Son. Just chilling out there, top left. Ooh, cloud. The problem, let's see, not many opportunities left to use the Lakitu Cloud. Yeah, we got this fort from World 2 on Hexer's side. Easily done. Take care of. Alright, I saw nothing built or destroyed. Oh, we need a bridge. Our final fort is somewhere. It could be not here because this is a regular stage. It's the other tank we need. And Haxer is immediately using a Pee Wee. Ooh, excellent Ice choice. Ice. Oh, but loses it in Ice Fort. I don't think we see my favorite fort in the. that I like. In the seed. We've seen the last seed. The underwater fort. I just like that one for some reason. 
Uh, we did see three F two actually. Oh, I might have bl must have blinked too long. Uh, but no, it is Ice Fort is not our way through. Oh, he gets grabbed by hand. And as such a 6F4, no thank you. And, well, let's try this Handbridge Fortress end. Well, we're back in the Navy. No, I I'm not doing it this time. Why don't you do it, Sharky? I'm not going to do it myself. Maybe a future date. Consider this your challenge. So, is Navy going to be the penultimate one again? Fan out next time. Okay, never mind. Find out next pipe. And it is! <laughs> and he got drugged in! 5 1, you are not supposed to be the penultimate stage. Go away. Oh, there's a 50% chance you'll get through, or you won't get grabbed. Take two. Okay, he's through. As such, uh, time to invade Bowser Koopa's castle once again, as Mitch is, uh, learning that this is not the right way to go, but not taking the death. Just going to play it out. Remember, folks, it's left side is one race, right side is another race. All four are playing the same seed, but Haxor looks ready to finish his. Yep. Bowser has been defeated by another hammer suit. And we're waiting for that door to open. And we'll give the time for Haxor when that happens. And Haxor has finished... Overall, first place with the as first as our L time of 36 minutes 24 seconds. Get your GGs out. And with that, we What's got up? Hexer again. What a seed! Yeah, it kind of started out really weird. It was really slow for a while, and then uh, I made some really good decisions the last few worlds. World 8 was a nightmare like it usually was, but I mean, um, that's still a pretty good time, I think. Yep. For that pipe land, what a play on that. Oh yeah, using the hammer and then the, the double music box. That was sick. <laughs> I've never seen a World 7 happen like that before. Yeah, no, that was probably the freest World 7 I've ever seen. Um, I, I know I had those hammers, so I was like, man, I gotta use these hammers. Uh, I, I probably honestly fought a few too many hammer bros, but um, it, it worked out. Yep. And I did, I believe, complete the required fort, so he just has a finite path to the end. And uh, technically so has Mitch, but uh, Mitch is going the wrong way and is going to encounter the Dark Door Maze, which means it's entirely possible that Big Z may catch up. Man, this was quite a race. These guys are really close. Mitch doesn't know he that this is not required. Because he thinks you have to beat them all? I don't know. Well, I, I played that fort too. Or no, 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 never mind. I didn't play that one. That's right. Yeah, that's the only one I didn't play because I was like, nope, that, that one's behind a level. I ain't playing that. That P wing I used like at the end there really worked out in uh, 642 there. I was like, wow, what a P wing when I used it.
Mitch did pick up a star. Let's see, can he get in time? Yes, we got a quick boom boom kill and a fire boom boom kill simultaneously between Mitch and Ace there. Mitch is gonna get a quick uh, boom boom kill here actually, it's pretty cool. And Mitch actually went into that. Oh, wow. I, I think yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> I think he was thinking the pipe was there. <laughs> I, I think Mitch is actually lost right now. Mitch, okay, I was say Mitch, go in that pipe. Oh, but Big Zeef hasn't beaten the Navy yet. Yeah, Navy's in the way there. Um, I don't know, I actually don't know which fort broke the lock after the Navy. Um, Oh, uh, Mitch has figured it out now. And he gets no hands, of course. Um, Navy was the bridge builder in the end. Again. Oh, it was. Okay. okay <laughs> he tried to go them. for Bowser's castle. Ace found that level that he needs a beat so he could unlock that pipe. But this has been an interesting race overall between all four runners. I'll say that right now. Big Steve does find his level. Does run through it. Just be careful that giant bullet cannon. Just running around, jumping, jumping back and forth, waiting for that door to open, and he finishes with the SRL time of 40 minutes 57 seconds in second place overall, and he does win his match against Big Z, and we'll go 2 and 0, oh. and I believe Hector is 3 and 1 now. Yep, that's correct. Uh, got a big, got a big one on Sunday with uh, Paradox. That's gonna decide a lot so yep, you're, st you're still in the thick of things it's gonna be between you paradox and yo bgs we could have a we could possibly have a three-way tiebreaker to who yeah who advances <laughs> if, if we split and then you know i go two and oh against sonaku which i mean i'm not i'm not gonna you know count my chickens before they hatch i still gotta play the races anything can happen in these things honestly um but yeah um that could be really interesting obviously i'm hoping to go two and oh on sunday but you know he's a really good opponent so it's gonna be it's gonna be some good races i think yep. speaking of good races uh look on uh, the com stream sharky we <laughs> it's going back and forth we may actually have close to a tie for the other two this time and they both got hammer suits this time Oh boy, let's look at this. Ace of Arrows takes Bowser Koopa out. Big Zeef doing the same, but remember, we rely on SRL times, not the times on the stream. So let's wait for the shaking to stop, the victory music to play. Oh my gosh, what is this going to be here? Hold on. Wait, all right, let's wait. Hold on. Okay. And. Ace, uh, Ace of Errors finishes with an SRL time of 42.47. Big Steve finishes with an SRL time of 42.47. We have a tie for third place. The first oh. SRL time between oh Ace of Errors, Big Steve. <laughs> Get your GG's out. Double for these two runners. What wow, a that's race. Incredible. First seed. One second difference. Second seed. Tie. What a back-to-back -back race. I cannot believe it. Nicely done on that, Sharky.